what is the speed difference? Now, we know what a, obviously the Chromebook Pixel is going to be faster, but I, I want to give you guys an idea between how much speed this brand new M3 processor have compared to an i7. So I don't know the scores. I really don't. I know um, the Pixel gets a score around 27 to 29, but let's see what it comes down to. So I'm going to go right into a, I'm going to do a network text on my internet so you guys can see how fast my internet is. We're running the test. It, sh it should be 150, but it's hovering around 97. I have the Verizon 150, 150, and it should be faster, but we in the middle of the day, it's 4.43 p.m., and you know people on the, on the net. All right. So Verizon's dripping me right now because I'm not getting what I should be getting. 95 download, 117 upload. This is the speed time that I'm getting. So you guys get an idea of my speed. Let's run this Octane score and let it get this going because a lot of people feel that you know you have to have so much speed. So this is the only thing running on the device. The only thing is it's about 5.30 something in the afternoon, 5.46. So you know, that's when everybody's on their internet and Verizon tend to scale people down. So you saw my Verizon score, it should be 150, but it's around 100. So that should be enough to run a good Octane score on this Chromebook Pixel i7 with 16 gigs of RAM. Let's see. The M7 processor can keep up. All right, so we have a 27430 on the Chromebook Pixel. Now, let me uh, change the network. I'm going to make sure this is totally, totally a fair fight. So let me put this on the faster network. All right, and let's run the Octane score on the Chromebook Pixel, Chrome, sorry, on the HP Chromebook G1 with its M3 processor and four gigs of RAM. Let's see what the score is. Let's see the comparison. I haven't run an Octane score on this M3 processor. If it's over 20, I'll be very happy, but I, I'm guessing it'll probably be around 18, but let's, let's hope it's more. Um, a ARM processor is in the 7000s. So you can see how fast the uh, Pixel is. Let's see how this M3 processor is running. 22. Wow, 22.8. So you can see, and you would think the, the M5 should be right cut in the middle between both of these devices. So think about it. The, I told you guys, the M3 processor is running 22819 on the M3 processor. I made sure everything was even 27 on the i7. So you guys want to spend double the money just to say you have a i7. This is enough for Chrome. This is enough right here. I would have been fine if I got the i5, but I went with this i7. I could have saved myself 300 bucks. I would have been just as happy with the i5 and eight gigs of RAM because I'm happy with this. This is some good performance from this HP Chromebook. So these are the Google Octane scores. This is some impressive stuff. So when I tell you guys, this is running. When I tell you guys a Chromebook is good, a particular device is running. I know what I'm talking about, man because I go by feel. Forget the benchmarks and stuff like that. I thought this would, would have been lower. The M3 processor, they got, Intel got something cooking with these brand new processors. So don't run out there 
and get yourself a pixel unless you need that touch screen unless you really want that i7 and you got the money to blow you could be perfectly happy getting yourself the m5 the m5 would probably be fine this is a pretty good score not bad at all so pretty much with that guys that's the end of that we'll see you in the next one hey yeah the chromebook pixel is faster but this is still a win for hp the g1 is running we'll see you in the next one